Hey guys, in today's profile review, I'm going to be discussing everything you need to do to climb out of gold as a top laner and more specifically as a one trick. So the big things that you need to focus on are, is, are you playing enough games? The average player to climb from gold four to plat takes about 300 games or so. So you need to be making sure that you're playing enough games. Two, you need to actually be one tricking a champion. The way 90% of players climb out of gold for the first time into platinum is by one tricking. There aren't many players at all anymore who can play a large or even small pool of champions, like more than three champions, and be able to easily climb into platinum for the first time. The third is looking at your laning phase. This is one of the biggest issues gold players, particularly top laners and particularly one tricks have. And then the final one is understanding mid and late game, in particular macro, knowing when to group, knowing when to team fight, knowing when to contest objectives, and knowing where to put yourself on the map at the right time in order to maximize your impact, whether you're a split pusher or a team fighter. Now, before we get into this profile view, if you want your own profile view, please check out the link in the YouTube description below, as well as if you're interested in the coaching plan I talk about towards the end of this video, you can also book a free one-on-one -on -one call with me over Discord in the link, in uh, sorry, in, in the YouTube description below using that link. Let's get into the profile view. So in about the next 10 minutes or so, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to do to climb out of gold to get to your goal rank of platinum slash diamond. And to be honest, the concepts that you need to climb out or so from gold to platinum are going to be basically the same concepts from platinum to diamond because any player that can climb out of gold can climb out of platinum. It's just about continuing your strategy in a longer term focus or horizon. So the three big things I'm going to be focusing on for you in particular in this profile view of how to climb out of gold really at, with your Trindamir because it looks like you're a one trick or you want to turn into a one trick and you really like Trindamir. So the three things I'm going to focus on is one, you need to play more games. Two, you need a one trick and like truly one trick if you're actually serious about climbing out of gold. And three, you need to work on your post laning phase, which is something maybe you haven't thought about. So the first one is you need to play more games. Any player looking to climb out of gold for the first time, gold to platinum, you generally need to be playing about 200 to 400 rank games a season. If you can maintain a 55% win rate, generally at least 300 games, you can get out of gold pretty comfortably into platinum for the first time. And this is basically because gold, it, it, the way MMR works in League of Legends is Riot basically thinks you're a gold account. And so in order to prove to the system that you aren't a gold account, that you're a plat account, is you need a decent win rate. That's why I say 55%. And you need to pr prove that over an extended period of time, usually 300 games, which can take up to a season. Because realistically, going from gold four, which is the top 32% of players, to platinum, which is about the top 8%, it requires a monumental shift in gameplay strategy and dedication to the game. It's very hard and not many players can really go from gold to platinum just by doing whatever the fuck they want or just, you know, playing whatever they want, playing however they want and not actually improving because you just don't get there. The top 8% of players in League of Legends are actually really good players. So to get to Platinum is actually really hard and it's harder than it's ever been. And it's because League of Legends has been out for so long. It's just a hard game to climb in because there are so many good players. And we always think of, you know, plat players as shit players or whatever or is not as good. And, you know, it's only high elo once you get past Diamond. But in reality, Diamond's the top 2% of players. So I would consider almost, you know, even Plat sometimes gets towards that high elo. Because if you're like Plat 1, you're in the top like 3 to 5% of your region, which is arguably really good. That means you're better than 95 out of every 100 players in your region which is something to be really proud of. So gold to platinum, I think a lot of people downplay it, but it's actually really tough, particularly if it's your first time. And that's why you need to play more games, one, to show the system that you deserve to climb out of gold. And then two, generally, the way 90% of gold players climb out of gold for the first time is by one tricking. Now, it doesn't actually matter what champion or what role you choose to one trick with. But for you, looking at your profile, and anyone else can do this if they're looking at their profile and climbing out of gold for the first time, is just look at the champion that have these two things. You enjoy them, and you have a decent win rate on them. Now, I can see in preseason your Trinomir win rate isn't that good, and to be honest, here it isn't that good either. But honestly, 
Last season in total, you had a 52% win rate on Trinomir, which is more than enough to indicate to me that you have potential to get better on Trindamir, and given that it's your most played champion, I would assume that that is the champion you want to one-trick. Now, if you want to one-trick another champion, that's fine. You can apply the same principles, basically, that I'm doing in this profile view for Trindamir, but I'm going to assume to climb out of gold to platinum for the first time, you're going to want to one-trick, because that's the fastest and easiest way to do it, and you probably want to play Trindamir. So one tricking, it's the key concept. And if, you, if you're if you like, well, Dylan, I want to climb out of platinum, but I don't want to one trick. Well, do the two ranked account strategy. And basically that is you have one account for climbing and one account for learning, having fun and doing everything else. So your main account, your press R to live, this is your account where you are trying to get to platinum and you're playing at your very best on only the champions that you know you have a good win rate on, at least 55%. And then when you're tilted, when you want to learn a new champion, when you want to have some fun with some friends, or you just want to chill out and you're you know, sick of the ranked anxiety, you go to your second account and you can play as much ranked on that as you want. You can do whatever the hell you want on that account. I don't care. As long as you aren't wasting games on your main, because every game counts when you're trying to climb from gold to platinum for the first time. So you really need to remember that. Now, the final thing I want to talk about in your profile view is your laning phase. So right now I can see you're averaging about, you know, you're, you're up about 730 gold in the first 15 minutes of the game as Trindamy, which is really good. Generally, when I'm reviewing Trindamy's in gold who are trying to climb out of gold, I see this usually around like the 200 to 400 gold range. So the fact that you're a plus 780, yes, it's only over 25 games, but the fact that you're this far ahead suggests to me that you are really good with your laning phase. You're probably really good with your CS, you're really good with your kills and deaths, so you probably don't die too much, but you get, you know, way more or significantly more solo kills than you do deaths. And overall, you just have a very good understanding of Trindamir's lane matchups and how to play in order to win at least that first 15 minutes of the game. Now, the interesting thing is, and the unique thing I see with you, is generally when players are this far ahead at 15 minutes, they generally have quite a high win rate. So generally I see, you know, like a 55 to 65% win rate when someone is this far ahead in gold. And so that's why I think one of the biggest areas you need to focus on in order to climb out of gold for the first time is your mid to late game. You need to figure out what you're doing wrong. Are you dying too much? Are you split pushing at the wrong times? Are you, do you not know how to group? Do you never go to objectives? You need to start theory crafting and coming up with hypotheses of what is going wrong in your mid to late game in order for you to only be winning 44% of your games when you're up more than two kills at 15 minutes. Because this is really rare and it just indicates that something is going wrong in your mid to late game and it will have to do with your macro. So again, is it your laning fat? Is sorry, is it that you're split pushing at the wrong times? Is it you don't know when to group? Is it you don't know which objective to take or which objective to show up on? Are you just off the map at the wrong times? Do you recall at bad times? You really need to understand that in order for you to use that Trinity to climb out of gold for the first time. Now, what I would suggest for someone like you is a monthly ranked coaching plan. Now, if you're interested in coaching, this is what I recommend to most players in your situation who are trying to climb from run, one rank to another, basically trying to climb from gold out of platinum for the first time. You generally need a coach to review your gameplay monthly with you, to set yourself monthly goals, and to help you overcome all the barriers that you have. Because at the end of the day, only 8% of League of Legends players ever make it out of gold into platinum. That's 92% of players never do it. And generally, not always, the most differentiating factor or the most common factor is they either get coaching and they figure out exactly what's going wrong or they keep failing and making mistakes until they eventually stumble into platinum. And generally, it's a combination of one tricking or finding a couple of champions that they're really good at and then they just kind of naturally make it into platinum. So if you're really interested in going from gold to platinum, I can basically show you the exact blueprint for you, whether you want to play Trindamir, whether you want to play Singe, whether you want to try a whole new ro role, whatever, I can show you the blueprint of exactly what you need to do to go from gold to plat. So if you're interested in that, once you've watched this, 
reach out to me on Discord and say, hey, I'm interested. We can book a free one-on-one -on -one call together. We can get over, we can talk over Discord and discuss exactly what a personalized rank climbing plan would look like for you to help you go from gold four to plat four in the next season and obviously beyond. So I hope you enjoyed this profile review. And once you've watched it, please reach out to me. And as always, cheers and good luck on the rift.